talking about the latest update for Guns of Glory, which is update 2.8.0, which includes a couple different things. We're going to go ahead and just take a look at the update announcement and give some more information as to what this all means for us. So we're scrolling down slowly behind all those terrible rewards that you get for it. All right, so what's new? The Musketeer's Fort. A brand new feature where you can pit yourself against other players and earn supreme glory and rewards. Available at Castle Level 17. New paths available on the Combo and Gemstone Expeditions. So for high level, um, high paying players, you can go even further now with the new Gemstones that they just released. Just saying that, hey, if you have these new Gemstones maxed out, you can go even further, get a little more rewards out of it. A new Darkness Gemstone is online with a more user friendly interface. Now you can access it through both the Forge and the Lord Profile. So, what does this mean for everyone here? Well, what this means is that there is a new gemstone on the market. So let's go ahead, let's take a look, let's see what this gemstone does for us. Wow, this is really fast scrolling right now. So now there's a new tab, it's the gemstone armory. Let's click on it, it opens it up, it shows us the gemstones that we have equipped into our different gear. Alright, cool. So, here we have our gemstone. So it's a slightly different process. Um, it says remove, dismantle, refine. You can refine it. It will just straight up tell you how many materials you have to refine and if you have enough to be able to go ahead and upgrade it to the next higher level. Um, so they're pretty much combining. They're saying, alright, we want to utilize one, one tool in order to enhance this. So, you just, it's pretty much like take all your finding stones, take all of your old gemstones, combine them together, and you get this new currency that you will utilize to upgrade. No more like grinding it out, you just wait until you fully have it. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, overall, pretty impressed with it. What I'm not impressed with is this, the basic darkness gem. So, right off of the bat, once activated, you can craft the following. So what it takes is it takes 100 handbook activation. So I'm being attacked. Stop doing that. I'm not in the mood for that. So it takes 100 gemstones. So there's three scrolls. So for $10, you get three scrolls. Where's my phone? I'll do a calculation on this to give you the math behind it. So you need 33 of these packages, which is $3,333 to craft one of these. Um, I feel like they're, they have to make it cheaper on the higher end. Um, if you have access to a higher end package, please let me know. I will correct this information. But as it stands with what I'm looking at here, it will cost um, $3,333 per 100 of these. Um, now there is an advanced darkness scroll and I feel like that is utilized to enhance. Let's take a look. Just pure darkness gemstone scroll. Um, let's see if that makes sense down here on our square gemstones. Yes, so square gemstones require the more expensive one which we're looking at a cost of $10,000 each just to uh, go ahead and craft it. So, let's go ahead and look at the gemstone showcase and look at these new darkness gemstones in their highest quality compared to nobility at their highest quality. So we're talking $3,333 to craft one of these over for a oh, whoops for a slight increase it's a 7% increase over nobility. From the highest nobility to the most basic darkness gemstone costs $3,333. You can upgrade um, basic darkness further more to the orange and the gold for a slight increase of about 20% each. 
Um, if my is my math off? Go ahead. Oh, three hundred thirty dollars. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess I was wrong. So it's three hundred thirty dollars per gemstone, which honestly is not much better, because if you think about it, and it's a thousand dollars for the square. So we have three pieces here: three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 18 gemstones. 18 gemstones at $330. And $330. That's $6,000 to get the most basic gemstone for a 7% increase across the board. 7 times, you know, 7 times 18. That's an overall increase in your stats of 126% for $6,000. That's not worth it in my opinion. It's $7,000 total just to get the full package for all 18 gemstones. Um, well, slightly off, because... Alright, no, just disregard that, okay? It's... The whole point of this, alright, if you are buying this, you know why you're buying it. You're buying it because you need to be the best for whatever reason to flex on everyone else. That's the only reason you would buy these new gemstones. For everyone else, don't even bother considering this. Don't even bother trying to grind it out. It's not worth it. With what you're getting for $10, it would take forever to go ahead and grind this out. It is just simply not worth it. I absolutely hate this entire idea. It is so stupid. Guns of Glory just wasting your money right now. Like, honestly. But if you're buying it, there's a reason why you're buying it. You care about that 126% stat bonus, and you already have these, and you're not even considering what I'm talking about, which is perfectly fine. Go waste your time. But then there's this new thing. So Musketeer's Fort. What is Musketeer's Fort? It's open regu It's going to open regularly. Gives you the troops so you don't have to worry about losing your troops. Um, troops here does not affect contain. Okay. Determined by the highest troop level you've unlocked in your estate and their march size you will will be and their march size you will be determined. That's great English. By your march capacity. Generate basic resources and ranking trophies that you can collect once you activate it. The more ranking trophies you earn, the higher your rank for the Musketeer's Fort will be. Higher ranks will provide faster resource production speeds, greater protection limits and storage limits, and better daily rewards and season rewards. Also, alright, so let's check this out. There's a whole bunch of information about this, but we'll be will open once defending troops are matched. So we can go ahead and we can create a march setup. Um, let's, let's, let's go with this setting. So I'm going higher on the infantry. I'm having a healthy amount of cavalry and a lot of distance. So I can go ahead and do um, so you know a little more damage. So we'll set this up. Can be um, so here's my production speed. So I'm gathering some resources. I don't do these resources actually come to me. All right. You know what? Screw it. Let's go figure it out. Let's just try a basic, basic march. Let's see how this goes. So we're essentially just going ahead, and we are, you know, attacking other people out there, and we're trying to loot them for some resources. Okay, that went well. So this is what Musketeers Fort is like. Just gonna be attacking people, getting some rewards for it. Um, yikes. Okay, not not terrible of a defeat. But yeah, so that's what Musketeers Fort is like. This seems like it would be interesting. It adds a little more spice to the game, a little more things that you can do to keep yourself from getting too bored from it. Um, but besides that. Sun King is also now half the price, so that's awesome. Um, Sun King is now $2,500. It's a lot more accessible. It is terrible for anyone that cares about their stats, 
as in the bigs because now lower level C30s who spend a little bit less can now afford to get into and buying Sun King. So, I mean, I would recommend starting to buy into Sun King because $2,500 to go to plus five sounds like a pretty solid deal. So, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it doesn't sound all that half bad, you know? Go ahead and uh, enjoy this update. Don't worry too much about getting the new gemstones. If you're not if you're not looking to get the new gemstones, you're fine. Don't worry about it. But yeah, that th this is the new update. I hate the hated the update, but also love the update. I mean, it's great for everyone, except for those who are like, "Why the hell did you give us these new gemstones?" Which is like me. So thank you all for watching. This is Camp Cowboy.